Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today for the Deep Freeze Enterprise 8.5 overview. Today, we're going to talk about what's new in Deep Freeze. We have our chat open, so Adam Ziliax, our technical support manager, uh, will be moderating the chat, so please feel free to ask your questions uh, in the chat itself. Unfortunately, because we have so many people attending this webinar today, uh, almost 900 people here today, so wanted to make sure that uh, we uh, mute everybody so we're not uh, talking over each other. I am Heman Mehta. I am the uh, person in charge of our product and our strategy here. And uh, we're very proud to release our DeFreeze Enterprise 8.5 solution. And uh, we're hoping that the features that we've added in there will be very useful to you. Uh, so today in the agenda, we're going to review those 15 uh, features that uh, we've, we've provided, as well as I'll walk you through a live demo of the Enterprise Console and each one of those features. And in this slide deck itself, you'll notice that uh, th there's a problem solve section at the very bottom. And what I've tried to do there is all these features and enhancements that we've added, they've come from customers like yourself. So we, we really value your feedback. We take those uh, feedback and prioritize those into different iterations. And that problem solve section will basically tell you in short words what it is that we're solving for you. So I'm, I'm hoping that will help you. So let's get right into it. We will start with the ability to add thaw spaces. So today you are used to adding thaw spaces where you have to uninstall, defreeze, and reinstall it should you make any changes to the thaw space configuration. What we've done now is given you the ability to add thaw spaces on the fly. So you can actually change your configuration and your configuration will update on the workstation. And if that configuration has a new thaw space, that new thaw space will get added during the next thawed restart. So of course, if we gave you the ability to add a thaw space, we also wanted to give you the ability to delete a thaw space. So we'll show you in the configuration of the thaw space, the section there, you can actually set it to delete any thaw spaces that are not already in your configuration. Um, and if you did not want to do that, you'll also be able to delete the thaw spaces from within the console toolbar itself. So hopefully those two features will, will help you quickly address any thaw space needs without having to reinstall deep freeze. By the way, we also have a, a switch for the deep freeze command line, which is a slash delete thaw space if you need to use that. Thought alerts is another feature we added where customers were asking uh, for the ability to be able to clearly see uh, when workstations are thawed for longer periods of time. So sometimes, you know, we're accidentally forgetting to thaw machines and uh, we, we are not aware that that machine is thawed. So what we've done now is given you the ability to set up a thought alert where if you set it to, let's say, 24 hours in this case, that machine, after 24 hours of being thawed, will turn red and the icon will turn red as well. So you'll have a very clear indication if there's something that requires your attention. We also have a checkbox in there that will allow you to ignore any machines that are still in maintenance mode. Uh, so if something is still sitting in a maintenance mode, then we will not turn it into a red thought icon and turn the entire line into a red line. Next, we added a combination task in our scheduled tasks in the Enterprise Console. So today you're able to schedule 
different individual tasks but when you do need to change a chain of tasks you're you're forced to have forced to go in and change each task one at a time so when we saw this we thought why not actually combine all these tasks into one single task so that you can change everything very quickly and then see that exactly what's going to happen and have full visibility of what's going to happen so we've we've added this new task called a combination task inside your scheduler in addition to that combination task we've also added the ability for you to schedule a client update so the client update is when a new version of defreeze is available you have to wait around for the users to walk away from the machine so you can actually upgrade to defreeze you no longer have to do that all you have to do now is schedule the client update so that it will be taken care of let's say at midnight uh, when the users are not actually sitting on the machine in addition to the client update we've added the ability to schedule a format of a thaw space so if you're in an environment where on a weekly basis you need to uh, clear those thaw spaces you can do that now on a scheduled basis same with push and launch or remote launch if you want to do anything after hours then you can do that using the scheduler now One of the things that our customers asked for was the ability to retain event logs because they wanted visibility into what's happening on the machine. Of course, DFreeze is very unforgiving that way. So what we did is we added a check mark under advanced options where if you check it, we'll actually create a 100 megabyte thaw space for you so that any application system security or hardware event logs are actually retained even on a frozen machine. Then we added the ability to have an alarm clock on the workstation. What that means is in situations where the enterprise console is not connected to your client, your defreeze client, there may be a requirement where you want to wake up that machine out of sleep and perform Windows updates, for example. So we added this built-in functionality that Windows OS provides uh, where you can set an alarm on the system. However, mind you, it is hardware specific, so please make sure that you check uh, whether your hardware will allow you to actually perform on a wake-up alarm clock uh, like this. So it is very specific to your environment, uh, so I would encourage you to actually try it out to see that if it works for you. Another thing our customers asked for was the ability to shut down a machine if it was idle. So we already provided that functionality, but what we were doing before is we were waiting for the first keyboard and mouse activity on that machine. So what happens is if you set it to 20 minutes, then after the first user logs into that machine, that 20 minute countdown will start once that machine is idle. However, in certain situations, what our customers wanted to do was have all the machines woken up in the middle of the morning or in the first thing in the morning, and then they wanted the ability to shut down that machine should nobody log on to that machine or, or do anything on that machine. Today, what happens is that machine might be on for about eight hours, and then someone might move the keyboard and mouse, and then the countdown will start. Of course, we don't have the ability to do this for the restart option because we don't want that machine to constantly reboot every 20 minutes for no reason whatsoever. We made some enhancements to the configuration workflow. So today, when you were pressing OK after you save a configuration, you were asked to provide the name of the configuration. What we've done now is we've moved that name at the bottom of the configuration, which I'll show you in the demonstration. And as well, for any new configurations that you create, we have the ability now for you to export that configuration as a seed or an installer. So you don't have to go anywhere else in the console to do this. 
So I talked to you about the uh, ability to delete and add thaw spaces. So we wanted to provide you the ability to clearly see which thaw spaces are on that computer. So now we have a new column called thaw space, uh, thaw space free actually, which will show you every single thaw space that's on that machine and clearly show you how many um, megabytes or gigabytes is available on that machine uh, for the user to save data. In addition to that, we have a thawed for column which connects to the thawed alert feature that we provided. And the thawed for column will basically show you how long that computer is thawed and it will turn red once your specified threshold is met. So let's say 24 hours in the example I showed you. In addition to that, we've also added the OS build number uh, because a lot of customers were asking us what uh, version of the OS was installed on their machine. So we've added that in there for you. Another usability enhancement we made is uh, the ability to remember inputs for send message, push and launch, and remote launch. So now we will actually remember the last 10 messages that you have sent to your users so you're not stuck uh, retyping them or maintaining a different document uh, and then copying and pasting from there. So I hope this, this uh, functionality will help make things a bit more easier for you. So this one is one of my favorite ones, which is the upgrade notification. Uh, any customer who installs 8.5 from now on will get a notification when a new version is available. When we provide you that notification, we'll show you exactly what we've uh, fixed or enhanced in that version. We'll allow you to skip that version or snooze it uh, for a week by clicking on remind me later. If uh, you decide to download that function, that version, we will I'll ask you if you wanted to upgrade that and it will automatically update upgrade your enterprise console for you. Other enhancement you can enhancements you can look out for is the Windows Update cache was uh, not uh, resizing before. So if it was stuck at two gigabytes, you'd have to reinstall deep freeze to turn it into 10 gigabytes. Uh, so now when you upgrade to 8.5, we will actually be able to increase the size of that cache to 10 gigabytes. The version of the enterprise console which is supported on with deprecated Windows XP as well as Server 2003. So uh, unfortunately, if you are running it on that older OS, please upgrade your console machines uh, before you upgrade to 8.5. And I talked to you about some of the switches we added. So we've also now added a format thaw space and an end task parameter for the shutdown uh, command line. Lastly, we did make uh, the similar enhancements for our Cloud Connector customer. So any customer who's connecting their enterprise console to defreeze.com will now see the thawed four column as well as the available thaw space column. Uh, in addition to that, we are re releasing 8.5 in the cloud version very soon. When we do that, you'll have the ability to receive email alerts as well as if you're using the Defreeze Administrator mobile app, you'll receive push notification alerts. Uh, and of course, those alerts are for when a machine is thawed for the specified amount of time that you, you, you input under manage alerts in the Defreeze Cloud Console. All right, so let's get into the demo session now. Uh, just give me one second. I'm going to switch over to the uh, other machine to demonstrate this uh, product to you. All right, so you should be able to see the enterprise console now. And I'm going to start by adding the thaw space. So when you add a configuration, let's, uh, let's add a new configuration here. When you add a new configuration, you have the ability to add thaw spaces, and the interface there has changed slightly. 
where you can have a pop-up show up and provide whether it's visible or what uh, drive it's hosted on. And then here is where you can actually delete the thaw space during a configuration update. So what that means is if T drive is not on that machine and there's another drive that's on that machine, we'll actually delete that thaw space and replace it with the T drive. Okay, so we'll make sure that this configuration is true. And that is why when you do this, there's this big warning that shows up where you have to say, I understand that there's no going back and we will permanently delete your thought space. Okay. Then we have the ability to attempt a local wake up. So that's if you add a Windows update task, for example, you can check attempt wake up uh, locally. And in addition to that, we have the ability to retain Windows event logs under advanced options. We have the ability to retain the Windows event logs and configure the name of the bottom of the machine of the configuration. So you can actually provide your configuration name here, right? And then click on OK. And you'll notice here that because it's a new configuration, you have now the ability to configure the seed and the installer so you can actually export it and uh, download it to your workstation where you want to install defreeze. On the console side itself, we have the ability for you to select the machine and delete the thaw space. So you can actually delete the thaw space. We have the ability to send a thought alert. So here's your thought alert where you can specify how long to wait to, before you turn it into that red icon. And of course, you can choose to ignore any machines that are under maintenance mode. Next, we have the available thaw spaces column. So that is the thaw space free column, where you can see that here that we have T drive everywhere, and it tells you just how much space is free per drive. Okay, so if, for example, any of these drives are more than 80% full, they'll turn red. In our case here, they're all, they all look pretty good, so we're fine. For the thaw for column, we have a column that shows you exactly how long it's thawed for. And we also provide you the uh, OS build number, so that's the OS build number right there that shows up. As for the combination task, here is the combination task. So under scheduler, I can now add a combination task where I can basically chain a bunch of tasks. Let's give it a name. Do it every day, click on next. And then you basically say, I want to wake up the machine at this time. I want to send a message and then I want to reboot a thought and then maybe I want to perform Windows Update. Right, so you get the message. Essentially you can take these and then quickly update the time if you need to. There's a little summary here and then when you click on finish there's your combination task. I explained that you can send messages onto the machines and then we'll remove, remember the message history. So there's the hello I just sent. So we'll re remember up to 10 messages in here as well as for the remote launch functionalities. And lastly, I wanna show you the cloud connector functionality where if I have this uh, console connected to the cloud, I can log in and you'll notice that the defreeze on demand page has two new columns in it. So you have the ability to include the thaw space free column as well as the thawed for column. And for the delete thaw space option is under the maintenance uh, dropdown. 
So I hope uh, that was helpful. That's all the features. Let me just uh, go back to the uh, PowerPoint here and show you. Oh yeah, we do have a Q&A session. Uh, Adam is telling me right now that uh, he's answered all the questions in chat. If uh, for whatever reason there is any questions that, uh, you, that you have come across and we've not answered it, please contact us and we're happy to uh, work with you on that. And so here's the Thank you, slides. So thank you very much, everyone, for your time today. I hope uh, you got to learn some new things here. Um, you can download the latest version of Deep Freeze 8.5. It's now 8.51 from Pharonix Labs. And hopefully this is the last time you have to go to Pharonix Labs. The only time I anticipate you having to go to Pharonix Labs now is to get your license key. Uh, so whenever we have a major release, you'll need to go there. Otherwise, we have that uh, notification or new version notification that will pop up in your console, and you'll be able to just simply download that new version immediately to your console. Additionally, I want to offer up Adam services here that uh, should you need any walkthroughs or should you have any other questions, please contact us at support. We're available by chat or phone. And lastly, we have a for customers page at phronix.com. So if uh, you want to stay in touch with us and, and make sure you're up to date on the latest and greatest things that are happening, then that for customers page will give you an idea of what we're up to. Uh, we'll give you an idea of what the new versions are all about. And if we're releasing any new products like our MDM product, then you'll find more details about that on there. So thank you very much, everyone, for your time. I hope you found this interesting. And uh, we will uh, look forward to doing more of these sessions coming up. Have a great day.